Hello everyone, welcome to realhomerecording.com. I am Adam and today I'm going to talk about the importance of the underside snare drum microphone. Um, when I first started recording drums, all I used was the top one, the top snare microphone. And that was really because of number one, ignorance, but number two, I only had eight input channels. So when you only have eight inputs, you're kind of uh, limited on what you can do. Well. Now that I record 10 inputs, 12 when I'm lucky, I always recommend minimum, really 12 if you can get it um, for an interface if you're going to record drums. Um, but you need 12 because two room mics, two overheads, top snare, top tom one, top tom two, top tom three, then you have um, Let's see, underside snare, ride cymbal, and I'm missing two other ones. I can't think of them. Did I say the room mic said? Oh, kick drum. Can't think of the other one. Oh, hi-hat mic. There you go, so that's 12. So yeah, underside snare drum mic. I, I hope you can see it. I, I don't have a camera person with me today, unfortunately. Right here. Um, the idea of the underside snare mic is that obviously it picks up the, the, the drum snares and what you're going to do is you're going to set it to a 90 degree angle to the top mic. So I like to have the mic going across the drum, point it towards the middle. It's kind of more towards, I guess, right here in the, um, like between the middle and the sides, the, uh, the rim of the drum. But, um, so it's kind of, it's almost pointed straight, but not exactly. So the underside is also almost pointed straight up. Um, so it forms a 90 degree angle. If you can imagine a, if you can imagine a line continuing with the microphone, it forms an approximate 90 degree angle. The reason you want to do that is, is to minimize phase cancellation, which you'll address anyway when you go and mix. And I'll show you that. Um, I guess I'll show you that briefly. But the idea is that you're going to try to avoid phase cancellation as much as possible. And you do that by putting the microphones like basically facing sideways to each other um, to avoid that. So I want to show you what it sounds like with just the top snare mic, then just the bottom snare mic, and then a combination of the two with the polarity flipped. And so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. When you combine the close microphones with overheads and drum mics, that's when you get your full sound. I apologize again for having a crappy snare drum with old um, drum heads, but that's what I got. But you can get the gist of the quality difference when you just had the top versus both. Um, so here we go.